the sky And I hold it down, no bad man What you do me that? Cause I go run them down Transformation. I see that every day it happens, and seeing that every day motivates me even more. You know, knowing that you have that thing born in someone, but it was nothing. Nobody knew who he was. It was someone on the streets that had to paddle to make, make ends meet, move people from one 
part of the river to the order to make ends meet. And then you come in and you decide to pick someone like that and say, okay, look, you've got this talent, I've seen this talent, I think we need to work on this. So getting to know him more on the background and then taking that out and pushing it, moving it and trying to push it up to the highest level they could get to. I think that's that motivates me more to push more on him and you know and I'm I'm happy for where we are at the moment and I'm, I'm glad we're getting somewhere you know better. We, um, like last year we did a concert for charity, the charity concert what he did last Christmas, he went back to the other side where he grew up and he was able to bring out from his own course, you know, uh, uh, food stuff, uh, school bags for kids and also give them a talk and tell them that look, now you hear about me, you hear about me in this event, you hear about me or this, you know I grew up here, if I can do it, you can do it. It was called the Waterside Christmas Concert, which he did, I invited a few of his friends to come alongside him as well too. have been managed based on contracts basically. Um, okay. it, it, it's supposed to get to a point where like, you know, they get released and they go. But then you have to also fulfill what the contract says before you get to that point. That's that's basically always the process. When you get to the point where like, you get you can get released, you can get renewed and you can continue as well too. So that's basically the process in every contract uh, for music, that's how it works. educating them, you keep, you keep educating them on it, which is very, very important, you know, when it comes to the, uh, the business, you have to keep talking to them concerning um, the business, because um, even though they've got the talent, they don't even understand what time, how that talent is being trans, you know, trans, transferred into a brand that can bring money in. Sometimes they just think that, you know, it, it happens over the day, but it doesn't take time, and I've seen it work as well. So I know what I'm saying. I've had controversies in the past. I've had controversies with dispensables and entrails. But it's been managed. I mean, if you, if you haven't heard about it, that I had it before, then, then it means that it was managed properly, basically. Uh, but it, I don't think it's inevitable. It's part of the business, that's how I say it. You know, and that's why I said sometimes you have to keep schooling people on what it is and how it has to go. You know, it's a continuous, we used to use a continuous assessment when we in school. You yeah. keep doing, keep doing, you know, from your tests, your weekly tests, part of the exam, basically. So we have to keep um, enlightening people, basically, how it works. part of you know the policy development for the entire Nigeria uh, for the music industry basically you know with the bodies of, there's a lot there's a lot that is not right basically there's so much we've done there's so much we put up even apart from you know Christian artists there's a lot of great platforms like the climax night event that we do as well it's not a platform where we make money it's just a platform to keep the give the quote unquote artists a place to showcase himself which is not there because there are so many artists out there that want to showcase themselves but they don't even have that capacity they don't have that platform to showcase themselves we we'll bring other artists from outside Otako and put them alongside our own top artists as well here to level up with their own fan base and our own fan base and let them catch up with them just to catch up you know what we're doing is just try to make sure that that platform remains here you know so um, I think those are the places that people need to come in to support and identify with the movement. I, 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 I can't have control of the airplay, but um, I think all, all we can do is encourage the stations to play. 
and I think most of the stations are trying their best now. I can say a lot for um, most of the stations in Botaco actually trying to make sure that some most PH artists are getting played now. But I think a lot more needs to be done as well too. But most important thing as well too, the artist needs to also work to a level whereby the song is good enough to be played on air. You know, even though we hear a lot of songs of rubbish still on radio, I will say, but then it has to be good music to play it on air. But yes, I think a lot more needs to be done on that, a lot more awareness to be done on that to tell the stations to actually get involved in making sure that at least a percentage of the local acts are part of their playlist on a regular basis, which will also help. a way, sorry, put it this way, to, to be able to know what's going to be the proper release and maybe a promo, a promo copy first. Or the producers ourselves, all we need to do is, you know, whatever is the main copy that's coming out as we in the UK, the promo copy might be slightly different. So you actually get the main copy that actually gets either a different feature on it being downloaded and paid for. We've already teased the rest of the public in that one, but that being said, digital promotion, distribution is the future.